let's take a look at balancing talent and organizational culture. The talent emphasis has led to innovations in how organizations bring people in and move them through the organization. Talent is not just applying a best practice, but how that practice delivers values to others. Hiring or training someone who fails to deliver value to key stakeholders is like preparing a meal in a restaurant without knowing what the patron wants to eat or playing a sport without keeping score. Stakeholders for talent outcomes have traditionally focused inside the organization with investments in talent resulting in greater employee productivity and well-being. Going forward, talent value must also come from how talent choices affect those outside the organization. Quality of talent clearly impacts employee and organizational outcomes. When talent ideas and tools connect these stakeholders, more value is created. Certainly, having individual talent is critically important in terms of an agenda for an organization. Organizations may be defined in many ways. In today's rapidly changing business world, the challenge of building the right organization complements the talent challenge. A robust future talent agenda delivers both internal and external outcomes for both individuals and organizations. HR has always been sought to add more value to a business, but what exactly does that mean? It's easy to say, but hard to know what to do. The word lever is a useful way to describe how HR can influence individuals, teams, and organizations. HR is sometimes viewed as an all talk and no action type of function. It's certainly true that HR has an administrative legacy. It's also true that HR is part of the overhead of an organization and indirect labor is not perceived as being a valuable asset like people directly involved in making and delivering products. HR in general does a poor job of demonstrating its value to the business. A key step in rectifying this deficiency is to articulate the business impacts of HR initiatives. Probably the most valuable metric to track on a regular basis is turnover of high performing employees. A very popular recruiting metric is time to fill an open position. Employee engagement has been a critical topic since the inception of Gallup's work in the early 1990s. There are a variety of costs associated with disengaged and poor performers. There are many other levels that can influence better strategic alignment, talent optimization, cost savings, productivity improvements, and outcomes. All of these results are driven by capable, motivated employees, and HR, more than any other function, creates an environment where people flourish. The employee experience is an important force that will shape an organization's approach to talent management. The environment created when an organization focuses on making itself a place where people want to show up instead of a place where people need to show up is the basis for the positive employee experience. At the core of the employee experience is a long-term organizational approach that puts people at the center. Unfortunately, many organizations get so stuck focusing on engagement that they forget to take a step back to understand what causes engagement to begin with, let alone understand the impact that engaged employees have on an organization. Millennials are already the largest demographic in the workplace and Gen Z is creeping in as well. This changing mix of demographics brings new values, attitudes, expectations, and ways of working. Organizations have always had to adapt to new generations entering the workforce, but the overall sense is that previous adaptations were gradual and now have become accelerated. The proliferation of mobile devices with global connectivity allows us to work anywhere at any time. Today, HR organizations are staffed with data scientists and analysts to help make sense of all the data they have on their employees and to figure out what other data to collect. Employees today have more of a voice than ever before.